Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to San Andreas. Today we'll be continuing with the prep work for the heist. One day we'll have this thing fully planned out. So who's in on it now? A lot of people. Alright, here's the plan. It's all about the art of deception. While I get as much heat on me as possible, y'all get away with the green. Question, how does the Mafia normally move cash out of Caligula's? Bingo. Stripes of Mr. Zero here. Hey, good job, you little <laughs> ass kisser. Ow. Ow. So, we gonna steal ourselves an armored car and respray it so it looks like one of the regular trucks. What about the police escorts? Whenever they move cash around, they use police motorcycles as outriders. Exactly what I was thinking. Come on, come with me, and we gonna go get some cop weed. You get the Packer, hit the Julius Thruway and keep moving. I'll steal the bikes and get them to you. Careful with those oozes, CJ. That's not safe. Yeah, I'm not sure I trust uh, CJ's trigger discipline there. Alright, so anyway, our job now is to find ourselves some police motorcycles. Which normally, of course, they would be around every corner, especially when you don't want them to be. But since this is a mission in San Andreas, we have to get these specific bikes. The game will not spawn any other police bikes during this mission, ever. Huh. Oh, and we're timed. Yeah, we are. We have a decent amount of time, but you do still want to have a plan on how to approach this and which bike to get first. Wait, we have to get all of them? Yeah, we do. Oh. And then we have this truck here, driving around the ring road. So let's just do this, which isn't dangerous in the slightest. Uh, could you slow down or... Okay, fine. Never mind then. <laughs> DJ, I'm not sure you're supposed to go down the middle of... Hello! Yeah, no time to wait around. Just grab a car, and let's go. I feel like she was more rattled by being mugged than, uh, getting rear-ended there. Ah, well, neither one is particularly great, I would assume. <laughs> but anyway, here we have the next one. Let's see if we can do something about the... Well, apparently we can't. But that works. Except now we have a wanted level. Eh, with a helicopter above you? Ah, uh, that doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, Because it's only it's, two stars, so... Yeah, if it were four star, then you'd be really screwed, I think? It would also really help if I remembered any of the locations of the police bribe pickups here. Because <laughs> obviously you can't take the police bike to a pay and spray because it's a law enforcement vehicle. So, we're just gonna have to deal with the wanted level for now. Out of the way, please. Kind of in a rush. So, let's do this again. Just as fun every time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice dismount. Oh, hello there. Hello there. Officers, I'll just take my leave. Okay, carry on. Yeah, at this point I should probably head to the pay and spray to kind of get the heat off for a second. We'll get back pretty soon, I think, but at least we'll be able to get to the next bike without too much trouble here. Yeah, you're really just getting yourself some breathing room. I'm kind of surprised I didn't hit the taxi there. Right, so here these cops will, or this cop will start moving once you get too close. He's gonna start pursuing some, some crooks. So let's just sort this out. I like how those guys were just walking towards the guy, like aiming a sniper rifle down the street. 
in their direction. Ah, they've, seen, they've seen worse. <laughs> That's terrifying. If you don't do that, the cop will start pursuing those guys on the Harleys and you'll just have to chase them down and I didn't want to deal with that. Cause that's a bit of a mess. Thanks. <laughs> well done. Oh, there's a lot of things in these missions where it's just like, you could deal with the scripting or you could just, you know, fuck up a dude and uh, just go at your own pace. Yeah, and apparently it just completely bounce off the hood of the taxi there. Um, guys, guys, please sort this out. Or I'll do it for you. Oh, there's a bribe. Didn't actually notice it until, like... I think I decided to go for it at this point. <laughs> at, fir at first I was like, ah, I don't need to go for that. Because I did probably notice it, but... Yeah, it's probably a better idea to do it like this, just You'll trying get it to some shake place. the cop cars. I was trying to shake the cop cars a little bit, but it didn't quite work out, so... Yeah, they... So they, whatever. They T-boned you and then uh, gave you a, your wanted star back. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. I'll just take this. Thank you. Whoop. And of course, the truck does keep moving along the ring road, so it can be pretty far from you when you actually pick up one of these bikes, but we should be fine. We have over three minutes, almost three and a half minutes. Jesus. Yeah, trying to find a spot or like a gap to switch lanes. There's a reason you don't do a U-turn on the highway. Ah, nonsense. I actually failed this once because a taxi just climbed onto the truck and just blocked my access to it completely, so that was fun. What the I fuck? I enjoyed that. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, it wasn't very amusing, to be honest. Okay, that should do it. Take care of those bikes. Now get out of here. So yeah, now that we have got apparently the only four police bikes in the city, it's time to see what we have on the agenda next. So, back to the old planning room. The secret war room. Okay, we got the bikes and Woozy taking care of the uniforms. Now we just gotta get an armored van and respray it with the Caligula's Casino logo. Why don't we steal one while it's on its rounds? That way we can make some money, too. Nah, I don't want to get the crew caught up in some street-level jack and it could get up. Um, I... I have an idea. Um, have you ever seen those helicopters they use to lift heavy loads? Yeah, they call them sky cranes. We could lift the whole truck and take them to someplace safe. Then we need to steal a sky crane. Unfortunately, I'm not a pilot. Uh, me neither. Hey, don't look at me. Or me. Shit. I'll fly it then. We could respray it at the airstrip. Yeah, Carl. It'll be just like fighting Berkeley, only bigger. Yeah, thanks for that. Yes, thank you very much, Zero. That really fills me with endless optimism for what we're about to do. <laughs> also, I can't help but think that this plan is slightly overcomplicated. Yeah, just a little bit. The CJ was like, I don't want to get the crew mixed up in, like, street-level jackings or whatever, but we already just jacked, like, four police bikes. So why can't we get this... this van... just by ourselves? Just cap the driver and then just fuck off. But apparently we are doing this the interesting way. So let's just borrow this military vehicle so we can get into the depot. So why are we planning this heist again? Uh, sorry. Why, why are we planning this heist? 
Uh, what do you mean why we are playing this heist? Like, was was there a is there like a reason we're going out of our way to uh rob uh you know a competitor's casino or? I think the reasoning CJ gave in one of the earlier cutscenes was that, well, it's Vegas or in this case Ventura, so it just must be done. We just have to do a casino heist, which I suppose was also the philosophy behind the whole, well, game design and writing thing here when it came to these missions. Okay, CJ, whatever you say. Yeah, so... So that's a thing. But yeah, we do need to do this in as convoluted a way as we possibly can. Oh, hello there, officer. I suppose that does explain why this plan is uh, way oh, overcomplicated. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, we are slightly getting shot with some M4, so let's just... ...perform a tactical retreat. I forgot there was a whole bunch of guys there on the rooftops. And elsewhere. Hello, lads. Lock on. Well, at least we made it inside, so that's the important thing. Okay, doesn't seem like... Okay, there's one. Was about to say that there weren't any people actively shooting at us anymore, so that was a slight improvement. Oh, there's one now. Okay, how do we get in? The minimap is not being particularly helpful at this moment in time. We gotta find a way up, it looks like. We certainly do. And this looks like a good place to start. He says, and then immediately gets shot by 50 soldiers. Like that. <laughs> yeah, this mission on your first time through... It can be pretty rough. Because you might not expect just how many guys there are in here. In this little warehouse and up on the scaffolds. Mm -hmm. And all that. And I can imagine, like, trying to play this on a... Uh... An old CRT would uh, make it real hard to pick out some of the dudes, like, up in the rafters. I mean, yeah, I did play this on, like, a 13 or 14-inch CRT back in the day with composite cables, so that was fun. Just a bit of a blurry mess was that, but... But yeah, here we at least can see a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that guy doesn't seem to bother. I think he was on his smoke break. Yeah, I think both of them were. Don't think there's anyone else up on the scaffolding there, so we should be good to go. Some much-needed health here as well. We did pick up a bit of body armor there earlier, so that's... That's fine. Anyone else lurking around? Come on. Sure, they must have put someone. There we go. I was getting worried. <laughs> Alright, so this looks like a dead end. So, how many guys do we have up? Top doesn't seem like any just yet, or at least nobody who has actually noticed us just yet. Boop. I will never get tired of guys uh, just springing to uh, their deaths. Ah, they want to go out in style. Anyone else? There's something over there, but I couldn't quite tell what. Alright. You gonna see us? Can we shoot him? Okay, well that went about as well as one would hope.
I can actually tell if that's a... Yeah, that was a guy, okay. The Uzi just didn't have that much range. Which is kind of its shortcoming. Makes sense. Like, I don't think any SMG is known for, uh, range. Yeah, but I mean, the actual SMG, like the MP, that has pretty decent range, at least. I will eventually switch back to that later on in the game. But for now, we'll do just fine with the dual Uzis. But never mind that, because it seems we have a couple of hunters that we have to deal with. So, if you would fly into my minigun bullets, that would be nice. That works. Much obliged. Um? Oh, come on. Oh, I thought that thing just, like, went completely perpendicular for a second. That's a lot of explosions. Let's see, anyone up here on the helipad? I think if they if there were anyone up there, they would have come down to shoot you when you were uh, taking out the other helicopters. Yeah, but the way these missions are designed, you can never really discount the possibility that they just put one guy right there at the end with True. like a combat shotgun. True. So, let's just... Fly this like crane to um, what were we doing? And yeah, we're picking up the um, the armored car, I believe. Trying to keep this overly convoluted plan straight, which is a little bit difficult at times. And we really could have just walked here and just grabbed that van and just gone. It's not like there's much of anyone actually like guarding it or anything. So, oh well. well. Let's see how this goes. Zero really shouldn't have put the idea of using the stupid sky crane in our heads. No. Okay, come on. There we go. Oh boy, back to the back to the graveyard. Yep. And you do want to be a little bit careful with our dangly van here. Because the, um, the buildings can be surprisingly close. <laughs> Especially when they just kinda pop in out of nowhere. Which I think happens at some point in the not too distant future here. Oh no, draw distance. Indeed. But yeah, we... We did actually manage to get through that pretty well, so... I'm not sure why I wasn't, like, using the winch or, like, lowering uh, or raising and lowering the crane a little bit more in this. And instead I was just kind of landing the... or putting the chopper closer to the ground, but whatever. We made it. And that's what counts. Hey, CJ. You never cease to amaze me. <laughs> Good looking. Where's Woozy? I don't know. He insisted on driving here himself. He could be anywhere. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Alright, dude, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all later. Um, guys, you should probably be a little bit more concerned about that. 